I'm gonna try to kill this tomato with black walnut husk that looks like this. Got a whole bucket of it here. Walnut husk mixed with water from processing the black walnuts that I eat and grow from seed. Everyone always says that this stuff is toxic to plants. They say it's most toxic to tomatoes. We're gonna test that. One scoop at a time. We're also gonna see if it kills these little, I forget what type of flower these are. Some sort of flower that we planted in here. We're gonna just put a ton of this stuff on here. I might even rub it on the plant and we're gonna come back in a few days and see what this tomato looks like. It's got some fruit on it. It's not getting full sun because it's late in the season now. It's mid-October. It's really not tomato season at all, but this one got planted late. It's been looking really healthy. Look how green it is here. You can see in the process I've even gotten it all over the leaves. Even if it's not toxic, it can't be good for them to be covered in sludge like that, preventing them from breathing, releasing oxygen, taking in carbon dioxide, and also just absorbing sunlight. Stay tuned. What do you think's going to happen? Let me know down below. I don't think anything's going to happen. I think this plant's just going to be fine because I take this black walnut husk. Let me show you. I add it to compost piles. That's what I'm doing here. I just added a bunch of husk. I'm going to mix in some wood chips. we got to dump this bucket. I just dumped a ton of it into this pile of wood chips right here. I covered it all up, but if we dig down, you guys will be able to see there is black walnut sludge in here. We'll cover our plants with this, and it'll be just fine. It's been two days. Are we ready? Da, 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 da. Not dead. We did water this in a little bit. I will also note, so it's been 48 hours. Both nights, the lows were in the 40s, which is not good tomato weather. Even where the husk touched the leaf, no problem at all. No problem at all. Look at this stem. Totally fine. So I think we're probably getting close to the time length for this video. I'll probably make a follow-up because I have a lot of thoughts as to what's going on here. There's a lot of things we can talk about. Let me know what questions or comments or thoughts you have. I do have a little bit of time and a few things that I wanted to add. Jungalone is a real thing. It's a real compound that this plant produces and in a lab setting, it can really harshly impact other plants. The thing is, it breaks down pretty quickly in nature. The husk that we're using here have been breaking down on the ground for several weeks, and so I would imagine that a lot of that jungalone is already gone. One other thing to note is that the concentration of jungalone varies in different parts of the plants, and probably from plant to plant and throughout the plant's life cycle. There's a lot more to it. That's a little bit. See ya.